Hello everybody and welcome to the first of many Logo Talk. Now, for everybody that knows me and knows that I'm a huge sports fan. And I watch just about pretty much every major sport minus soccer. Really doesn't click with me. But yeah. And everyone also knows the only thing that I like more than the sports itself is the sports logos. Now, to me, I feel that that a logo in sports is very important because it's more than just a logo; it's an identity. And all it takes is the right logo for it to either be be remembered as something great, something to stand out positively, and have people talking about that team for years to come. On the flip side, you could have a logo where where either it looks bad, people think it's offensive, or you know it's just not good, and people will most likely either forget that team or never have anything good to say about them. So, as an introduction, I'd like to start today with the NHL logos. In came the year 1917, and the world was graced with the National Hockey League. And as a starter, they came up with this. Pretty much similar to what they got today. You know, simple shield in black. Got the yellow outline going. God's in NHL. Now, I'll be honest. I'd, I'd say, as expected, I really don't like this logo too much. It looks pretty whack. Really, n nothing special going on. You know, nothing memorable about it. But surprisingly, it lasted all the way until 1945. And that's when we move on to this. Big improvement, as you can see, they decided to switch out from yellow to orange. And this one looks a lot more clean, in my opinion. You know, decided to further italicize the NHL or LNH if you speak French. And this one lasted a lot longer from. 1946 all the way till 2005 when they decided to get rid of this so it's a shame but you know I guess they had something better on the horizon which is when we transition to this and now we're brought to the present day where we have a logo that pretty much everybody recognizes the current one and black and silver. At, at this point, I bet your average person would think that it supports the Kings because they use the same colors. But now they had this way before that. Now, this, now this one, you know, a lot modernized. I'll, I'll admit I do like it, but you know, not as much as the previous one. But it's still a good logo, and. It's been a staple for the NHL since 05, and I highly doubt they're going to update it anytime soon. But, you know, it doesn't need updating. So, that brings in to the NHL part of this discussion. Now, we switch gears to the MLB. And here we are. Now, out of all the logos, this one hasn't changed since it was first been introduced. But the funny thing is, the league got started in 1876. But funny enough, for some reason, they, they waited till at least 100 years later, maybe, maybe a little more, to come up with this logo. And hey, all, the, all those years, 
of not having local definitely pay off with this. I mean, this is what I've been saying all along when it came to timeless logos. I mean, you can't get more timeless than this. I mean, they don't call baseball America's greatest pastime for nothing. When you see this logo, people automatically start talking. And you really couldn't ask for a better looking logo. You like if, like if you want to go up to anybody and say, what would you classify for the best logo for baseball? Although I doubt you'd ever ask anybody that. You know, look no further than this. And I mean, I, there's really not more much more I can say about this logo than than what's already been said. I mean. This logo, I honestly think, and probably will, will last till the end of time. And now, shifting from baseball to football, we go to the NFL. In comes 1922, and the NFL was born. Prior to being the NFL, Two years prior, they were the American Professional Football Conference, or APFC. Then, a year later, they became the American Professional Football Association, or APFA. But clearly, those two logo, those two names were horrible. And you know, skip two years later, and you got the NFL. Now, this one. I think it's pretty interesting. Got all the stars going on all, all, all over the top. Then you, got, then you got the ball in the middle. And then now you got saying NFL. Now, now, one thing I find interesting that really contrasts it from the two logos that come after it is the pinstripes. And when it goes to pinstripes and pretty much any logo, whether it's uh, a logo for, for a league, a jersey, a whole team, uh, uniform, you know, it's really, it's really hit or miss when it comes to pinstripes. Some people can do it right with, uh, you know, like the 96 Bulls when they had that black alternate with the red pinstripes, my favorite. I'll be talking about that in, an, in another video. Or, you know, they could fail miserably when the Warriors came out with their, their gold-sleeved alternate. I hate I hate sleeved jerseys, but I'm going to get to that also, too. Back to the NFL, you know. And we have this. I'd say this is a real good start for them. But then, you know, skip ahead a few years later. And then we have this. The year was 1970, and it decided to upload, upgrade, and update the NFL logo to this. Honestly, I think this logo, everyone com commonly recognizes as the official NFL logo because they had this for um, a lot longer than they had the first one. The first one they only had for nine years. This one they had from 70 until 07. I mean... I mean, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But with as good as the logo, I really can't get over the elf in the room, and that's the L. Now, me, now, it really wouldn't take a rocket scientist just to see the problem. The L looks more like a P. And that's about check. It's called the NFL, not the NF, not the NFP. And. It just bugged, it just bugged me so much when it, when it was there that whenever I see the logo I just can't stop staring at it like it's just it's just there you know but aside from that they you know upgraded the stars upgrade and you know changed the ball a little they they switched the red line that was on the ball to a blue line so now it's just Pretty much blends in with, with the um with the outlines on the stars. 
now. Like every, all good things, you know. This eventually came to an end and entered the year 2008. And the NFL introduced this. And good God, talk about an improvement. This was this was quite the improvement. Very, very good. Uh, oh, it's amazing. I mean, you couldn't ask for you more better improvement. Now, the biggest differences is that, well, for one thing, the L doesn't doesn't look like a B. I had I had to get that out the way. But one another thing is, is the football. I'd say it has more of a 3D effect to it now, and it's n and it's not horizontal anymore. It's more diagonal now. And then another thing they did was that they trimmed down the amount of starts. Now there's only eight, four, four for each for each conference. You know, AFC, NFC, and then you know the stars represent each division. NFC East, AFC East, and so on and so forth. Very, very clever, you know. Honestly, it took me a while to to think of why they, they got rid of all the stars. Because I, I didn't mind having all of them there. But then, you know, once, once it clicked in my head, I was like, wow, pretty clever. And, you know, switching gears now. Last, but certainly not least. We have my favorite sport, basketball. First off, y'all, I apologize in advance for the potato quality of the original NBA logo, but I'm sorry, but this was the best I could find. Now, first off, I mean, when I first saw this logo, it made me want to laugh. Because you got an organization called National Basketball Association, but yet... The, the original, the inaugural logo looks like a baseball. No, this, oh man, this looks very stupid. I mean, I really would, would take, I really would spend a good minute, you know, tearing down this uh, monstrosity of a logo. But, you know, probably really is not the patience. So yeah, for some reason, they, they someone someone who whoever came up with this thought, hey, you know, why not have this as a starter? And honestly, whoever thought that was a good idea deserves a, a swift kick to the nuts. But and, but what really you know puzzles me about this logo, other than the fact that it. Uh, it, it looks like a baseball. Is the fact that it lasted 20 years. That's right. It it really lasted that long without some, before somebody finally decided uh, this logo ain't working. We need to come up with something better than this. And you know, af after I'd say not much thinking because you know I think I think you know just about anything be better than this. You know, they come up with something that's a little like this. And with a little bit of brain power and a little bit of inspiration from Jerry West, we have this. This has stood the test of time just about, just about as long as the MLB logo, but you know, not as long. And this, pretty much everybody knows, is a silhouette of Jerry West running. With the ball. Now, honestly, I this really takes me back to the days of when I was younger, and I'd just be trying to draw this logo on my notebooks and whatever, but you know, really wouldn't look as good as this does. But just because it was so good, and you know, I was so in love with basketball back then. Not saying I'm. Not, I'm I still love it now because you know I do, but you know uh, this, you know, to, to, um, ah man, I'm really at a loss for words for how good this logo is. I mean, 
if I could, I, I'd have I'd have the logo freaking painted on my ceiling, painted on one of my walls, near one of my near one of my jerseys I got hung up. You know, I just really like this logo. You know, it's it, in my opinion the best one out of all the ones that I've talked about here. I mean, I know there will be a lot of people, well, that will you know argue, but hey, you know, it's my own opinion. You have yours. And, you know, this logo will never go away. It's going to stay with the NBA forever. But I did hear during, through multiple articles, because I, I stay up to date with everything, well, pretty much everything sports wise, especially the NBA. And I heard that Jerry West, the person that the logo was made after, he has stated that if the NBA was ever to change this logo to something else, he would much prefer um, a silhouette of Michael Jordan to be there. Now, through some digging, I have found, um, uh, I'd say a bit of concept of what it could look like. So I doubt it will come in town soon, but you know, here it is. Now this one, you know, really, I know it is supposed to be Jordan, but you really couldn't tell that much. I mean, of course, because the bald head, you, you know, you could tell the Jordan, but yeah, this is what people hit, um, were considering for a new logo and. Jerry West was all on board. Like he had a, he he felt that you know if anyone was any more deserving of replacing him as the logo, it would be Michael Jordan. And you know who could argue? Now me personally, the slope was alright, not the best I've seen, not the worst, but you know it really could have been better. And as you can see by the watermark, I I did get this from SportsLogos.net. This is Actually, really, Chris Kramer, I want to give a big shout out to him. He's the biggest inspiration for me wanting to do this. Now, even before I came across the site, I've always been interested in sports logos, you know. And with this, um, you know, just doing what I've always wanted to do, talk about logos. But yeah, back to this. You know, now, I, I have seen better. And also with me looking for this, I've also... Uh, on another Jordan NBA logo, that actually I found quite a few, but but one was looking, I'd say empty, cause like the 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 person in, in the logo, the jump man, really didn't like fit the whole thing. But this one I found, you know, it it's a little wider, but it's definitely better. Well, better than this. Hey, you know, probably couldn't get more obvious than this. You know, you probably expected somebody to make the actual Jordan brand jump man with the NBA logo. But, you know, this is a lot better. Though I doubt even if they did use this, which, you know, of course they'd have to pay Michael Jordan a hefty sum of money. Probably more money than they, than they paid him to be an NBA Live 2000 instead of having a roster player. Got tired of those. But yeah. And plus, with, with it being more of a square and not a rectangle, it, it would definitely stand out more on NBA jerseys. And, and, I, just, and I think it would take a while, even if they did use this logo, if they put onto the jersey for it to, you know, maybe stand out. Because when it be when it be in a square, they might wind up putting it too small, where you know it might not even look like the jump man. It might look like a star or something if you look at it far away. But bottom line, you know whether they, whether they have this logo, the one previous, or just keep the the NBA, the current NBA logo. You know Jerry West. You know they're all in good standing. You know. All three of them are good. All three of them would fit perfectly. 
Mm-hmm. All, all of them scream basketball. And this is where we come to the, to the end. I've said my piece. Uh, I want to thank everybody for listening. And if you enjoyed this, stay tuned. Because, you know, within the days ahead, maybe a week, I'll come through with the next video. But <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to think of, of what it'll be on next. And also, if y'all want, give me suggestions, and I'll say what needs to be said. Plus, you know, any other uh, any sports news, sports logo news, I will bring that too. So until then, this is the Hitman Cause, and I'm out. <laughs>